Hello, welcome to my channel. Thanks for clicking. Um, I'm going to be talking through my sketchbook today. Um, I've got a few on the go. I'm a bit of a collector. Um, these are still underway, so I'll talk about those another time. And um, this one as well. This one should be finished a little sooner, I think. Um, I'm a great fan of gouache in my sketchbooks. I tend to buy mostly watercolour sketchbooks. Um, so let's get started on this one. My number three is a Hannah Mool, um hot press watercolour paper um, pad and I have done quite a few gouache paintings in it. This is when I first started. It's um, back in October 2020 so it's taken me a long time but I have properly filled it. And um, this was my first one. I was trying to kind of just feel my way through it and see if I liked the medium, which actually I do very much indeed. I went straight on the very next day and um, started understanding or trying to learn about the opacity and how thick to layer the gouache. This is traditional gouache and um, I struggled a little bit, but I do like the way that this texture came out very much. Uh, I love this picture. This is <laughs> it's very romantic, but I, it was actually um, a study to try and understand how to layer a, like a soft background and get um, the distances between the different um, trees. I think it worked out well. Again, this was um, the third day of having the gouache out. So again, traditional gouache. And then moving on to one of my very favourite pictures. I really do enjoy this. I love it. My mum's got it up in her toilet. <laughs> Um, traditional gouache, I love the texture, love the colours, yeah, really like, really like this one. And um, both of these pages are related to um, some Patreon work that I did. It was just practising with gouache and learning how to um, create some different textures. Um, this is Northern Lights. Um, now these, which are starting to come out of my book a little, these are wonderful, I love these. Just little little um, gouache paintings of snowy scenes. I'm very proud of these. I love them. But it was very silly trying to paint that small when I'm still such a novice. Um, this is on cold pressed paper and it's okay. It's all right. Um, I was just really trying to use what I'd learned in some of these. But it, it was on cold press so it was more tricky. Um, and this one was um, using gouache really lightly. I don't like how it came out. I didn't spend much time on it, um, so we can move move on. I did a bit of plein air work actually, and that was fun. I just popped out down the road a little bit and did this lovely little pen and ink sketch. This was using the um, Derwent, um, oh my goodness, I can't think what it was called. Um, ink Tense Pan, that was it. Yeah, the Derwent Ink Tense Pan. So that came out lovely, really like that. I like the sketchiness of it. And this was some Patreon work, um, f just using a bunch of prompts to create my own little scene. It was okay. This too was some Patreon work. Again, I used cold press paper. I don't know why. I don't really like cold press. Um, but it was just getting some, some sky um, thought uh, practice. Practice, that's the word. Yeah. And it's, it's actually a really good exercise. These two here um, are traditional gouache again. This one I really like, I love the colours. This is one of my favourite colours anyway. Um, these are Gerberas and one of my friends um, gave me a photograph and I had a go at painting it. It's a little sketchy but I do think I started there to understand how to use the medium a little bit better. Going back to my um, Derwent ink tents and ink, I did a couple of sketches of Cebu City, which I thought was lovely, JY Square just around the corner from me, and Mactan Cebu um, Island. And then in July 21, so we've moved on quite a bit, I went to the Montague Arms in the New Forest in Hampshire, and it was pouring with rain and we couldn't really do anything, and it was quite miserable, and I just did this shoddy little sketch. And similarly, here with some gouache of some flowers, um, wasn't really feeling it that day, but I, I tried. Now these, I think, are a little better and I really like the way that these sandalings are a little bit more graphic in, in the way that they that they look. Um, I think, think that came out nice. I like the colours too. 
but this one I'm very I'm very fond of this I like this a lot um, I, I grew up near this near Portsmouth and this is the Spinnaker Tower I really did did work on the um, clouds and I tried to bring what I what I'd learned through uh, in 2021 in December I found League of Legends and Arcane on Netflix and of course had to draw Jinx and her blue and pink um, colour scheme uh, it's not a great portrait but I don't care I loved it it was really good fun and this is working with gouache again on um, black paper just to see how it works I had to put quite a few layers on but I was really understanding how how to layer on the black paper and this one here as you can see is um, metallic and this is paint metallic paint pens that came from a scrawler box this picture got into the scrawler box magazine in the December of 21 so I'm quite proud of that my first lino cut I started lino cutting in January 22 and this was my very first pull I think they're called <laughs> um, it's not a great print and it was a bit too thick in terms of how much ink I used but don't care love it and um, I sold a few of those yeah this little guy here was an attempt at being a little bit more free and loose with my brush strokes um, quite frankly I hate it quite frankly <laughs> I don't like it at all and uh, I went back to doing more realism on the very next page so perfect partners I've got just some dice but I've colored it with gouache just practicing and getting some flat washes over the back quite happy with that and I did a colored pencil piece to accompany it and this one here is the Derwent pastel paint pans of March 22 that's actually I've got those open just here that's these they're really good fun for summer color they're really lovely I like those a lot and talking about summer colour, here's some flamingos for you. Love, love, love the colours on this. And it was a really fun um, couple of hours just spent in my sketchbook in March 22. Uh, also in well, no, April 22, uh, back with the traditional gouache, I'm trying to understand and learn how to layer and use lighter <clears throat> excuse me how to use lighter washes to create depth and backgrounds so i don't really like either of these that much but there are some passages through here particularly here with the um, shadows that i think came out really nicely and this one here is gouache again i actually went out um, on location at the weirs in winchester on easter sunday and sat and painted this couple who were having a flaming row um, on on the um, on the bench. Um, they don't actually look like they're talking to each other, do they? <laughs> and then this this cute one was um, a, a garden rose that in May I found it in the like behind this bush, um, behind the hydrangea it says. And um, I painted that with gouache and I did um, an Instagram reel of of how I painted it. And um, yeah, people seem to like that. Yeah, I think it. Had quite a few views not viral or anything um in march i got some acrylic what no i borrowed some acrylic gouache and had a go with, with it and this was my my painting i only had a few colors <clears throat> and um yeah i don't know i did something weird and it all came out a bit kind of muted so i don't i'm not really fond of that but it was a good it was a good practice and understanding how it differs from the traditional gouache and this one here, this is this is called Blobs, Watercolour and Acrylic Ink. The acrylic ink is the red and the watercolour is the green. It's literally just blobs and blobs, make them kind of bloom a little bit and then draw around them with an ink pen and see what I can find. And um, I saw a little pond, weirdly, but I don't know why, but um, it was fun. It was a fun thing to do. Um, a couple of um quickies i suppose it's just color study looking at pink and blue together it's prussian blue and that kind of hot pink gouache uh, traditional gouache and um this what is this this is called unfriended because the shark has no friends yes make of that what you will <laughs> and again another color study here just one color this time and i was also practicing um portraits without sketching so just going straight in with the with the um, the paintbrush and um, it was not overly successful but I don't care it was just like a real practice with this purpley colour 
Um, and then back to something more realistic here with the peonies in March 23. After this time, um, my ability to do drawing and colour and painting was a bit limited in terms of time. Um, so everything from here on is a bit quicker. Um, this one was um, not actually that quick, <laughs> talking, saying that. Um, in March, I did some um, gouache paintings for my mum and they were of Tenerife. And I really enjoyed those. And this was a practice piece to see whether or not I could actually achieve um, a painting this sort of size. So it's, you know, it's a double spread. And yeah, I think think I did good. I chose chose well and I've learned how to mix greens a little better than this since because these are all a bit kind of flat, but very pleased with that. And that went on to become something quite lovely for my mum for, for Mother's Day. Um, in April, this is around my birthday, I was gifted gifted I was bought some Neo Colour 2 and um, those are the um, Caran d'Ache um, water based or water soluble crayons I suppose and I hadn't tried them before and this was my my first go with them this one I really like I think that could be really good fun as a bigger and more um, more involved picture and um, for some reason I drew beetroot and then these two are dry so the first those two previously were wet and these two were dry. Neither of these designs are mine. Um, this is um, a wet, sort of dry on wet, and then this is completely dry. Um, I like this. Um, I like the texture, and I think I should do more of the the textured stuff. Um, this is trying to use the Neo Color Two for some background work. It wasn't overly successful, but you know, it was a good. It was a good. It was a good attempt. Um, I've tried using color pencils over the top, and it was a bit a bit sticky and the colour doesn't it's not fixed it does come off which is why this lovely little acrylic gouache um, painting here has got some muck on it so this is where I started working with acrylic gouache and um, I've been using that ever since because it's I don't know it just seems to be easier to use and then uh, just on the last few pages now um, graphite tint and pen just a quick sketch to um, get through the day I think on that particular day and then this one is my lovely niece Mia um, a quick sketch of of a photograph um, back in in July of this of last year of 23 um, she's a love she's a cutie and my my lovely husband George um, he passed away in December and um, before he passed away, I did a I did a drawing when we moved to Cebu, and that was the drawing that I did of him. And um, yeah, I'll treasure that. And that's the end of my book. So he gets pride of place at the very end. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will do another one um, when I finish one of the other sketchbooks. So I've got two two on the go. Again, this is again mostly mostly gouache. Um, I th you, I think you can see that I've been improving certainly on that one um so yeah stick around if you want to see me finish that one as well and um happy new year bye